What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video with the POCO A5 and in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest build of Evolution X ROM that is the version 10.3 and this is based on Android 15 of course and the build date here is 4th March 2025. So latest one as of right now and these are the notes which are mentioned and if you don't know how to flash this ROM on your POCO A5 and if you have unlocked bootloader you can check out the flashing guide from the description box below. Now let me first show you the home screen this is how it looks like. Of course it has a pixel launcher and stuff and if you go into the settings of it this is how it looks like there is the session disabling option and you can actually customize the icon layout and everything i have customized it this way it looks like this it shows the bluetooth battery and the normal battery kind of stats with the battery widget and we have the at a glance kind of widget on top on the left side this is how the google's discover page actually looks like and the whole ui feels much much smoother even when compared to the earlier builds this is much better smoothness i would say everywhere in the ui and opening apps and stuff the animations everywhere it's just a very smooth experience and there are some new things which i have noticed let me talk about them first of all in the quick setting panel this is how it will look and it does have this background blur looks beautiful but the new thing is there is the flashlight brightness adjustment and it works really well if you just turn it on as you can see this is how the flashlight brightness adjustment actually looks like we have this flashlight at 90 percent right now and you can change the like brightness from right here as you can see so yeah works really great even this feature is available with the latest update on the redmi k20 pro 2 that is really nice that we are getting all these newer kind of updates and features with even older devices like the redmi k20 pro here even though the redmi k20 pro is a five-year-old device it doesn't feel like that at all because it's getting the latest kind of features and updates with the evolution x rom and that is the beauty of a custom rom and there is one more new feature that is while you are doing any kind of like extracting task or if you are doing any kind of app download and everything all the progress kind of stuff which are like available in the notification panel just like this as you can see it will show up right here if you're noticing up close this looks really really beautiful in my opinion and this progress bar while it's updating app or while it's downloading something everywhere it shows up in the top of the status bar looks beautiful right here so yeah this is a new kind of feature it's also there even for the k20 pro again with the latest evolution x update and while i'm talking about the latest update let me show you the about section this is how the evolution x logo actually looks like still and we have the android version of course as android 15 here let me go back we have the evolution x version mentioned and the security patch even though it's the 4th march 2025 build the security patch is still of february 5th 2025 that's kind of fine i would say the stock kernel here is the 5.10 gki kernel and we have the build meter as you have as always so huge thanks to the developer of this rom in the system settings this is how it looks we have the gestures and stuff we have the quick tap actions we still have the quick loop and camera all these things i have showed you guys these things multiple times of course the pill length and radius you can customize there is the swipe to invoke assistant long press to search and circle to search everything is there so if i open an app like x and here if i just tap and hold on the pill bar as you can see the circle to search appears like this and i can do that circle to search it looks so beautiful in the dark theme it looks even better just notice here if i just draw something it shows so magical i would say and it selects some text and stuff and you can also do other things like translate text and stuff you can choose any other language like i'll select bengali over here and as you can see all the screen text has been translated to bengali as you can see here so this is really cool that you can do all of these things right here with the circle to search kind of feature of google just like a pixel now of course the stock camera here is the poco camera and you can swipe down here for getting more features even the macro mode and stuff everything is there also there is a 0.66 x 1x 2x all these options but here in the video settings you will get up to 4k and 30 fps with the rear camera there is no 60 fps but if you want to shoot 4k 60 fps videos with your poco a5 i have actually made a different video for a g cam which actually supports 4k 60 fps videos and you can also use external mics and stuff for making youtube videos with that camera that is really great and you can find that video in the description box below check it out we have the document section right here enhanced mode and stuff everything is there pro mode options are there so you can shoot pro mode videos as well with this app and here we have the portrait mode then if you just switch to the front camera of course the portrait mode in the front camera and everything it's totally working fine no need to worry about it at all so yeah all these features are working great with the camera the stock camera is decent you can definitely use it while you're daily driving it in case if you're wondering about 5g speeds let me just show you yes the 5g speeds and everything is working totally fine no need to worry about 5g here also normal vaulty calling and everything it's working fine even 5g calling and stuff working as you can see right now i have placed a call there is 5g still on the network so that is nice even cellular video calling here works really great no need to worry about it 
and of course there is BCR so you can record all the calls if you'd like to and this new thing is this accord kind of app that is a music player kind of app talking about basic stuff yes it passes the safety net and everything it meets the device and basic integrity i have used banking apps like sbi card you know i would say all of the banking apps that i use are totally working fine for some apps i needed to use the high developer kind of status but otherwise it's totally working fine banking apps are not a problem here the ir blaster here also works fine even the drm certification shows as l1 so it, you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p i would say even in google photos it shows this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos so that's a nice feature to have again now talking about normal stuff let's talk about the battery life well first let me show you the battery settings this is how the settings actually looks like we have the battery usage and everything and we have the charging control but it will actually disable your fast charging if you have a charging control be careful about that we have the battery optimization per app you can select we have the thermal profiles as well and per app you can select here as well like to performance or something like that for enter to benchmark and stuff i will select these so yeah and we have the battery diagnostics and stuff now let me show you with the Acu battery app i have tested the battery life here my battery life that I'm getting, it's estimated numbers guys, but still seven hours and 20 minutes of screen on time, it's I would say decent. And we have the screen of about 41, 42 hours and the combined use shows as 12 and a half hours. And in the health section, these are all again estimated numbers, but still I have the battery health about 82%. And here in the battery settings, we have the battery information as well, I forgot to show. And there it shows the cycle count and stuff If in case you want to see that for my device my battery cycle is about 763 a lot of cycles and we have the other things like the maximum capacity design capacity temperature all these things are mentioned here and fast charging and everything will be working fine no need to worry about it in terms of security this is how it looks like we have device unlock and stuff and there is a fingerprint and face unlock both options i have set it up only fingerprint and here we also have the private space of android 15 we also have the privacy dashboard and stuff if you go into the more settings, let me show you there is trust and if you just scroll down, there is high developer option, but the app lock is there in the app settings and there is also the theft protection as well. You can enable this. This is a really cool feature of Android 15 so that thief cannot snatch your phone or something. I'll just make the phone sleep by just double tapping on the status bar and let me show you the pickup gesture. It's working and as you can see, the clock looks like this on the always on display or while you do the pickup gesture. Let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed right now. As you can see, unlock super fast. It's a very fast and smooth experience while unlocking with the fingerprint scanner. Enable the always on display. Okay, so it's right here. Let me show you. Yeah, it's a very fast experience, I would say. Let me try one more time. As you can see, with the always on display, it looks really cool. The animation here of Android 13 clocks looks cool. Even though I think I have been using this clock. And yeah, this animation, I just totally love. Just notice how sleek it looks. Even the app lock looks like this. If you just tap the fingerprint scanner, it will unlock and go wherever you left it. And in the recent panel, everything is buttery smooth, no problems whatsoever. Quickly, I'll just set up the face unlock. Setting up the face unlock is successful. This is how the settings of it looks like. Now, I'll just double tap to wake here and point the device towards my face and it unlocks. The haptic feedback here all over the UI, I have to mention it's super premium, I would say. It definitely feels a lot more different from the previous updates of Evolution X. The haptic feedback here, it's just super premium here right now. And the face unlock, you can see it's very fast. Now let's talk about the basic performance and stuff. And in test view website, even though I have the HDR kind of on, it shows about 120 or yeah, 120 FPS as you can see. So this is really, really nice. The overall UI performance here, it's just superb. And everywhere, opening apps and closing apps, all those things, even switching between apps, it's not a problem at all. Everywhere, you will feel the whole UI. It's just so smooth experience everywhere. So I would say, in my opinion, while daily driving, I have been getting one of the best daily driving experience I have ever seen on this ROM. And I just love to daily drive on the Evolution X ROM normally. But right now, I would say it's a much, much, much better experience. I'm not exaggerating guys, this is what I love doing and I have tried bunch of custom ROMs and I would say this is the most stable with the like most amount of customizations and everything and the most amount of features, all these things that I get in the Evolution X ROM. That is my personal opinion. You can let me know your opinion in the comment section below. And here the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test and the other benchmarks that I have tested on this particular build on the Poco F5 so that you can get an idea about the overall UI performance. And of course, in the app settings, there are the cloned apps and everything. Have two accounts of WhatsApp or Facebook, whatever app you would like to. 
you have the cloned app option we have the app lock we have the game space we also have the sidebar kind of feature but if you just enable that let me show you you can launch a particular app in the sound settings this is how it looks like you can change the output device from right here or the volume panel actually looks like this you can expand it just like this and we also have the other features like if you just scroll down we have the power app volume control the dolby atmos kind of features are there and just notice the amount of options which are present for dolby atmos even the graphic equalizer intelligent equalizer speaker virtualization headphone virtualization even the dialogue enhancer is there bass enhancer volume leveler all these things are there even the clear speaker option is there as usual in the display settings this is how it looks like i will not be showing you each and everything but let me show you quickly we have the refresh rate setting option 120 90 and 60 hertz we have the double tap to wake and sleep. We have the per app refresh it. Wallpapers and styles. This is how it looks like. I have been using a fresh walls wallpaper. I'll link this particular app in the description. And there are the clock kind of customization. And these are the lock screen clock styles that you will get over here. And yeah, plethora of options are there, like normal Android 15 kind of options. And there is a home screen settings. You can change the default contrast and everything. And you can change the app grid up to five by five option is there. Let me go back theme icons. You can enable if you would like to. And in the normal wallpaper settings, we have the shortcuts of lock screen you can change. Then we have the more lock screen customization right here. And this backup or copy data, it's really cool. You can just back it up from right here and copy or restore your data from right here as well. So this is nice that this section is there. Now, of course, if you want to see the customizations, yes, there are a lot. As you can see, the theme customization, the lock screen customization, all these things. I'm not going to show you all the customization. You can explore them if you'd like to. But in the miscellaneous settings, let me show you there is the component spoofing and everything. And there is the Google Photo Spoof, Power App Gaming Spoof. We have the Snapchat Spoof and the other options which you can notice. And there is also the built-in update play integrity fix option for having the banking apps work. Then there is also the freeform launch mode. There is native or LMO kind of option. Hide app list option is there. USB configuration. You can set it to file transfer for convenience. Hide developer status is also there. Very useful feature. We have the ignore wallpaper dimming. We have the ignore window secure flag unlimited screen recording and we have the hide screen capture status all these beautiful features are here thank you so much for watching this video guys share this video with your friends if you want them to know how the poco a5 is handling the android 15 with evolution x rom and with its features and stuff and all over the ui the like always on display and stuff these animations they just doesn't get old it looks superb everywhere in the ui so overall the daily driving experience on this rom for me has been really awesome Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And again, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.